Okay, you guys, this is another coop down, another coop in the books, and this is one of our open coop concepts. It's our Florida coop. This coop is built from some reclaimed wood that we have from a truss package that we're going to use to build the coop. Here's the wood after stripping it down, taking it apart, and we're going to remove the metal so that we can use it in our build. I'm gonna use one of these three by 18 sheets of metal for the roof of this chicken coop build. Now here's one of my tricks for building a chicken coop. I use the chicken wire as a guide for the length and width of my top and bottom plate cuts. So here I'm measuring out so that I can make my cuts for the top and bottom plates of the wall frames for this chicken coop run build. And as a caveat, always remember to measure twice and cut once. This way you save yourself time on your build and you save yourself wood making your cuts now it's time to make the cuts so here we're going to make four cuts for the top and bottom plate for the back and front of the coop at about 78 inches for the top and bottom plate of the front and back walls and four pieces for the side walls at 58 inches for the front of the coop we're going to cut three pieces at 68 inches this way the front of the coop will be about six feet high and for the back we're going to cut three pieces at about 56 inches this way we'll have a front to back pitch for this chicken run coop combination we're gonna cut six pieces for the two side walls at we're going to say 54 inches. Again, remember to always measure twice and cut once. So, once you get all of your pieces cut, it'll be time to move on to building your frame of your chicken coop. Thank you. 
Okay, now it's time to frame out your walls. And here we are, we're framing out the back wall for this chicken coop run combination. And because I'm a one man wall building team, I actually came up with a hack for building frame walls when you're doing it on your own. And in a minute here, I'll show you what I use to help me to build my wall frames. But we are toenailing all of our walls together. So we have our bottom base and we're toenailing our uprights to the bottom base. Now here's that wall framing hack that I was talking about earlier. I actually created these blocks to help with erecting a wall because I'm often building my chicken coops on my own. So I created these brackets so that I could actually put together the wall on my own and it stays upright. I could put my bottom base and my top base together without any help by using these brackets that I created. Takes a little bit of getting used to and it's a little bit of a balancing act, but it works out. After just bragging about how well I work on my own, here I had to call in my son to actually help me to put in the middle upright because I haven't created a hack for actually putting the middle upright in. So he's going to help me put this middle upright in by holding it and I'm going to screw it in and we're going to have our back wall put together. There you have it, and we'll continue on to putting this chicken coop run combination together. Now it's time to build your walls. Where we started with the pre cut lumber two by fours we're now going to frame out the walls you can use your chicken wire 
as a guide to ensure that it fits the frame that you're building. And I'm going to show you how these handy braces work to your advantage when building a wall for your chicken coops. And remember, this is reclaimed wood, so it doesn't have that fresh look. But it's going to work for the purposes of this chicken coop run combination. Once your frames are built, now it's time to put the frames together. So we have the back and the front frames for the walls put together. Now we're going to connect those frames. I'm going to connect them in the middle here. Make sure that we are level and we're going to screw them in and connect the back and front facing walls together. Once the walls are up, then you are on to putting your wire onto the walls and you'll have your frame of your chicken coop run combination together and you can put your wire on and then you can start moving on to the roofing and framing out the roof and putting your metal on your roof. But remember, here on Me, You and the Chicken Farm, we believe that all chicken runs and coops should have a roof. This way, you are keeping your chicken run and your chicken coop nice and dry. The drier your chicken coop and run, the better off you are. After you erect the walls, you want to go ahead and put on your wire onto your walls after the structure is framed out. And here I'm cutting the metal roofing for the coop. Okay, you guys, this is another coop down, another coop in the books. And this is one of our open coop concepts. It's our Florida coop. Come on up and let's take a closer look at this coop that we have for you. Come on, take a closer look. So again, this is the open coop concept. Come on, let's take a look at this coop. And this coop is for our Sultan chickens. It's an excellent breed. Uh, and they're on critical list for the Livestock Conservancy. Here we have a little nook for our birds because again, we're in Florida. So the open coop concept is what we go with. This little nook here provides a windbreak and shelter. And if it gets a little bit too cold, we just add a heat lamp in here to give them a little bit of extra warmth. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video where we went over the various steps to get your coop built. So I'm gonna just pause here and then we're gonna take a look at the finished product. So here's the finished coop product and it is a small eight by six coop. Take a look at the nook. It holds a few of your favorite Bantam breeds of chicken. And it works out really great here in Florida. So this is Alan with me, you and the chickens farm. And it's another coop down. And this, we went into all the aspects of putting together an open Bantam coop. You guys have a good one. See you soon.